What's up people, in this video we're going to change some clutch pads on this bike. It needs it pretty badly. I don't know if any of y'all saw, but I posted a reel. I did all of this organization for all of my bikes. I have like six or seven mufflers for these bikes. It's crazy, I don't know why. Got the carburetors. So what we need is the clutch box. Handles. Here's the clutch box. We're going to grab some clutch pads. I'm going to use up the pencil eraser ones. Yeah, because they wear out faster. Save these for a good bike. So first off, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and remove all these bolts for your clutch cover and take that off. All right, once you got that off, go ahead and you can remove this gasket, which I broke. And now we got to take out this nut that holds the flower nut. Just remove that guy. And then it's easier if you hold in the clutch. I have the clutch held in with a little locking thing and there's probably easier ways but I just undo it like this there we go it's a flower nut and then you got your plate and the spring and there's your clutch pads and now you can go ahead and remove this gear just just slide out and now you get your gear and your clutch pads and take them out. Probably erase stuff with that. Should try that one day. Those are stuck. There we go. Should just push them out. Yeah, some of them things are stuck. Pretty good. Alright, there's the gear. Go ahead and remove these old ones. Get the new ones and just press them in. This is funny because it's actually working. You don't want to get too much of your hand grease on the clutch pads because then your clutch might slip. So I got a screw and the end of a flathead and then it's actually working. So why not? All right, now you get your new gear with your new clutch pads and just slide it on. Make sure it's in between those teeth. Then you get your spring, put that back on, and then the plate. And then the flower nut. I'm gonna adjust that a little bit. And then you get your screw, put it back in there. Yeah, this isn't aligned 100% yet, because this motor doesn't even run on putting new uh, clutch pads in it. It will run eventually, just not right now, because I'm lazy. And yeah, then now what you would do is get a good gasket, but I'm putting an old gasket. And then your cover. If y'all are wondering what this one's for, this thing, that's for the exhaust because it's got a good exhaust on here. So yeah, go check that video out. I mean, that's literally pretty much it. Just simple change of clutch pads. Now I need to go do it to that bike over there. It needs it too. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go do right now. Also, did y'all see my chair? Look at that. I don't have to sit on the ground anymore. So yeah, I have two bikes that I don't know what to do with. So let me know if you have any ideas of what we should do with these bikes. Also still have this guy back here. Keeps blowing off exhausts. Or the mufflers. Yeah, that thing's crazy fast. That's going to be the end of this one. Hope you all enjoyed. It's just a simple install. It's not that hard to do. Just an overview for those of y'all that didn't know how to do it. Pretty quick and easy. So, hope you all enjoyed. Alright, I will catch y'all guys later.